Every so often a tool comes along that we test and we are just amazed with the results and this is definitely one of them. This technology allows you to write in a description of exactly the video you want. You can explain exactly the content you're hoping for. Click on a button and it will make that video. Now it will render the video for you so it does take a while and the good news is as well, this technology is free. We've run a few tests to produce content for our classes. We did a video on learning vocabulary and giving students tips for learning vocabulary. We did another video on the research into aging, which is obviously very important for me these days. And both of the videos that were produced have been really, really high quality. They include music, great visuals, and commentary. So there's real power for teachers to be able to choose a topic that they want to make a video on perhaps they want to use it in class with their students and this system will produce the video now the technology is free you will get a watermark on the videos but the technology is free and I'm going to take you through the free tool there is of course a paid version now also and we've only done very small one-on-one -on -one classes trying this out with students but the potential for getting students to produce their own videos because the tool is free it are also or the potential is really you know very interesting students can think of a topic they can think of the vocabulary around that topic they can write the description they can paste it in and then they can see what video is produced they can then go in and make any changes to any of the images they don't like and they can even edit the transcript I really think there's a lot of potential for this technology it's just been released so we're going to go through the technology and as always please if you can like the video share the video comment on the video and of course join me on my youtube channel if you do any of those four things it will really help to keep my youtube channel going so please do what you can let's get started one last thing many people ask me how i make my videos i use camtasia if you want to try it out there's a link to test it for free in the description you can also buy it with a discount I've provided a link there and there's also a free six-part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works and I'll also put that in the description so come over to in video AI I logged in with my Google account it's currently completely free so I'm just going to click on join with Google and it will bring me in and a useful thing about having an account of course is that any videos that you've made you can save now as I said this is outstanding in terms of the results and I can see two ways of using this either with your students in class uh, really can have a fun lesson lots of language input to produce the videos or of course teachers could produce their own videos for listening comprehension purposes etc so two ways of using it let's really quickly start by just taking a look at the quality of the video that I made so here is the video I simply gave it loads of instructions it produced a five minute video for me with the voiceovers with all of the video content if I click here so we go full screen and I'll just play a few seconds ever wondered how you can stay young and vibrant? Well, you're not alone. As we embark on this journey, we'll explore the latest breakthroughs and innovations that promise to keep the hands of time at bay. We'll delve into the world of NMN and Urolithin A, two intriguing substances that are making waves in the realm of health and longevity. Okay, I'll stop there so you get an instant idea. Let me just pan through the video. It's that kind of quality all the way through. It's amazing, it takes loads of video content that it's got at its disposal to produce the video along with the audio, and all I did was give it the instructions. And I have to say, I was very surprised at the quality. Now, the other interesting thing is, you can edit afterwards by just giving instructions to the video to make changes. So, great thing about this is that there's loads of language input in the development of the video, but you don't need any video skills at all. So let's create a new one. We'll click on create new. You notice it opens here. The best thing to do is to decide what type of video you're gonna make. And I would suggest to you that it's just like an events video or a YouTube explainer. So try a YouTube explainer. 
and you've now got to put in your topic. So for this one, I'm gonna use how to use AI to learn languages, okay? Now I need to put in quite a lot of information now here about what I want the video to include. So I won't bore you, I'm just gonna write in here a description. This is a great opportunity for language work, of course, because this is where you describe the contents of the video and then it will base the production of the video on the information that you provide it. So I've written in quite a lot of detail here saying what I want and I basically want them to make a video for me that talks about some of the best ways of learning vocabulary and I want to talk about naturalreaders.com, Quizlet and Google Translate, how these can help to organize the vocabulary to practice the pronunciation and to listen to words in context as well as a little bit of information about language learning. So this is where the language obviously comes in uh, if you was going to use this as a student. If you're going to use this as a teacher and you want to make a good video make sure you put in a fairly good um, explanation of what you want you can choose the background music so I'm going to put in relaxing but slightly inspiring so I want kind of relaxing music but with a little bit of inspiration um, and then we can got here some settings about the gender so I'm going to say I'll have a, a male voice and I can even choose the accent so let's use a clear American voice but you've got loads and loads of options there clear American American voice and this is just simply to do with the name that I gave when I created my account and it's going to use stock video so we click on continue there's a few more settings and we'll be off and ready so if you notice that um, you get this kind of final summary and then you click click on create video now you can go back and make any changes final videos before you click that button okay and you notice that you can give up to three 3,000 characters. But the other interesting thing is that afterwards you can give it further instructions to make further changes. So we click on this button here, generate video, and off it goes. Now it can take quite a long time, and I mean six, seven, ten minutes, because don't forget, it's going to analyze everything and start to make a video, and it's using stock video content, and apparently it has something like six million videos that it can access to build the video that it's making. So we'll come back when the video is ready. As you can see, it's going through the process now. Now I can see at the moment that things are very busy because my video is queued number 52. So I'm gonna wander off for five minutes, make myself a cup of coffee, and when I come back, I hope my video is ready. So we can see now that my video is finally in the queue and it's been created. So you often have to wait in the queue while the video falls down to number one, but as soon as it does, it starts generating the script and the videos, etc., for my video. So let's just play this video a few seconds and see what the quality is like. Ever grappled with the complexities of a new language? Ever wished there was a magic wand that could simplify those tricky pronunciations and daunting vocabulary? Well, in today's world, technology is that magic wand. It's a tool that, when wielded correctly... Okay, I'm going to watch the rest of the video and just check the quality. It seems pretty good to me. You can see straight away how this could easily be used by students to create videos based on... And you'll see in a moment that we can even make changes afterwards. And we can just tell the computer, change this, change that. And it will actually change different parts of the video. So there's a kind of another stage here where you're analysing the video and deciding to change things as well. But the also of interest, of course, is from the teacher's point of view been able to make videos on any topic I've just been watching for a little bit more of the video and I'm really amazed at the quality and how much information it has for example about natural readers and what it can do etc really can see a lot of potential for this and it even has background music along with the commentary and really nicely balanced so in the actual video, they mention an amazing technology called Natural Readers, which is brilliant for language learners. And if you don't know about that technology, I'm going to put a video on the screen now so you can learn about Natural Readers. We're going to carry on looking here at InVideo. Now, let's have a look at some of the options that we've got once the video is produced. Okay, so first of all, we're going to click on edit and I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do. You can edit the media and you can edit the script. So I'm going to click on edit the media first and I'm going to jump in and I'm going to come back right to the beginning of the video. 
So this basically shows you all the different bits of video that we use. And if I click here, I can kind of go back. I'm going to go back to the beginning and I'm going to choose a different image here. So what I can do is I can search and I'm going to just write the word in language learning. And this is really nice. You can, you can edit both the script and, and I'm just going to do a search here. So I've written language learning. I'm using stock video and it's going to search for loads of free images that I can use. And if I wanted to, I could say, right, I want to swap a particular video. So I'm going to say, um, I like this one better as an example. So I click on here. So it knows it's this one I'm talking about. And I'm going to click here, replace. And notice it just replaces that image. So the first part has now got a different kind of image that goes along with the actual um, commentary. One thing, once you've made any changes, make sure that you click on apply that will actually update the video and make those changes to the, that particular part of the video. So you can click on script, edit script, and you can come in and notice you could make any changes to the script that you wanted. So you could read through it and say, okay, that, and just anything that I wanted to change here. Okay, so for example, let's say I want to put the word these tech tools. So I'm going to come in here and just change these tech tools. And again, apply the changes. Now, when you finish editing, click on the back button. And the reason you want to click on that back button is because it's from here that you can click and export the video. So when you come to here, a couple of tips. First of all, you want stock watermarks because you're not going to pay. You want normal, so you're not going to pay. And I would suggest rather than downloading it as a huge great file of 1080, not, why not go for 720? It's still going to be pretty good quality, fairly big on the screen. And then click on continue and that will allow you to download that video and therefore you would have a copy on your own computer. So it renders the video for you and it's doing that now. Now, once it's done that, you should be able to now to go to your downloads on your computer and find that the video is there. If it hasn't downloaded for any uh, particular reason, then just click on this button and that will make sure. But it, when you export the video, it should be downloaded and it should be now in your download. So very quickly, just show you that. So if I jump over to my downloads, I can see that the video has been downloaded. In fact, I was testing it various ways, so I've actually t downloaded several copies. But it seems to work fine, and then you've got the video which you can then share with your students and use with them. Okay, really hope you liked that video, and if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads more content. There's a free webinar coming up soon if you happen to see this video before the 5th of September, and that's on the AI features that are now available in quizzes. There is also an AI section on the website with the latest videos and we are testing out and trying a whole variety of different AI tools that we really like using. From the homepage as well, you'll also see there's lots of other videos that you can access, some of the more popular stuff, information about my courses. You can also contact me. Finally, if you sign up to the newsletter, we have about 11,000 subscribers, then you get a free 14 part no tricks video course in using technology in language teaching and of course you'll also get updated on all the latest videos the blog posts the webinars and the courses that we run as well and finally I'm going to leave some videos on the screen now that focus on other AI tools that we can use as language teachers